Hey guys, and welcome to Frequency Frontiers. This once again is David, KY4GM. So today I'm going to do a little talking about Meshtastic. Um, I enjoy Meshtastic. Um, if you sure thing, great. If not, I understand. Everybody has their own little thing in this hobby. So and if you don't know, Meshtastic is a decentralized, no network required messaging, messaging device that transmits from node to node, basically like a miniature APR, APRS system where you're sending text from one device to the other, but there are no repeaters involved unless you build your own. So I decided to get one of these uh, last year and give it a roll. So this is the first one I got, and it was recommended to me by Temporary Offline Steve on his channel, and I asked him about it, and this is the one he recommended a year ago. So this is the Muzzy Works H1. I've had this one a little over a year. I really like it. The best thing about these is that they are pre-built, out-of-the-box, plug-and-play. The only thing I've had to do to this one is update it uh, twice, which is really simple by plugging in the USB-C into your computer, going to the, the, going to the website to update the app, uh, picking the version you want to update to, and flash it onto your device. That's pretty well it. So I had this one, and my biggest complaint about this, the H1, is if you run it just on regular settings, the battery life's only gonna last you, at best, a day. You may get 24, maybe 28 hours out of it. And after that, it's pretty well gonna be dead. That, you know, that, which is, if that's my biggest complaint, there's not a lot to complain about. So, you know, later, well, earlier on this year, I decided I wanted something a little newer, something a little, a little better on battery life. And I watched a couple of YouTube videos from a couple of different ham, ready, you know, ham tubers and a couple of uh, other people that do mesh-tastic type things. And the overwhelming biggest thing I hear about is, you know, this here. This is the mesh-tastic H2T. The battery life on this thing is phenomenal. Um, it works really well. It's almost the exact same operation-wise as the H1. There are a couple of different things that, that are a little better, but operation-wise, if you use one, you can use the other. The biggest upgrade and the biggest thing I love about this Meshtastic device is the battery. So the battery on this thing lasts for days. Uh, when I first got it, I turned it on Oh goodness, I had it, it ran for over, so I fully planned on timing out battery life from full charge to dead. I gave up after the third day of running. So it will last three days of being on 24 seven running. So, you know, the caveat to that is I'm one of the only nodes in my area, so I'm not receiving or sending a lot of traffic, but the nodes stay on all the time. And so the next thing I decided to get, since I, you know, I travel a little bit and ride every once in a while and go places, you know, I, I, I want to do a little more mesh tactic while I'm driving, see what I can hear and see what I can pick up. So, so the next big thing I went and got, which I have not hooked up yet, is I got a nine gain, supposedly nine gain, nine, uh, nine dB gain mesh tactic mag mount antenna that I'm going to put onto the H1 here and keep it in the car. Uh, and just remember, when you're installing antennas on a, uh, any Meshtastic node, remember to make sure that the power is off before you take the antenna off. Because um, these things transmit on a regular cycle. You're not sure when it's going to transmit. And if you had the antenna off and it decides it was going to transmit, you have a, you have a chance you may burn up the board in your radio. All right, guys. Well, this is David uh, over here at Frequency Frontiers. You guys have any questions, comments? Please leave them. You know, leave me a comment in the video. Like, share, and subscribe. Seven three. All right. So we're going to change out that antenna. So as you can see, the node is off. Handy dandy multi tool, and you're just going to real gentle here get it loose. Now that it's loose. Get it started and make sure you don't cross thread it. 
handy dandy multi tools at a rescue. And that's it, guys.